Hi and welcome to the first video lesson in Introduction to Postcard Marketing Video Course. During this course we will discuss the basics of postcard marketing and I'll do my best to give you the brief overview of what it is, how it works, and how you can use it to effectively market your business. You see, postcard marketing is just one of the many methods that you can use to market your business products or services and not only can it help you increase sales it can also help you improve your brand visibility and business recognition postcard marketing is a simple form of direct marketing that makes the use of postcards and are mailed directly to your potential customers now I'm sure that you have received many in your own mail from time to time so this marketing method has been used for decades and it is being used simply because it is very effective in reaching out to the marketplace. The postcards that you send act as a mini billboard for your business and the main goal here is to attract more potential customers. Now I know you're probably asking the question what makes using postcards a viable promotional idea? Well, it's that it doesn't require that you have a huge business or marketing budget in order to use it effectively. As a matter of fact, postcard marketing can be a fairly affordable means of marketing your products and services directly to your potential customers. However, their effectiveness really depends on how you use them. Now, of course, one way to make sure that your potential customers are attracted by your postcard marketing messages is by keeping it simple. A lot of people make the mistake of trying to stuff too much information inside the limited amount of space of a postcard. It's one of the biggest mistakes that you can make when you are in the design process and will usually achieve the opposite of what you want to achieve which is gaining new customers. Now the same holds true with the using complicated designs on the postcards that you send out. To achieve good results from your postcard marketing campaign, you will want to create a simple yet attractive design. Avoid trying to give your customers too much information and you don't want to overwhelm them. Now as I mentioned earlier, your postcards are a billboard for your business. So try to imagine them looking like the ones that catch your eye as you pass by them in your travels. Keep in mind that people don't usually spend a lot of time poring over postcards that they receive in the mail. So you have to make sure that you convey your marketing message at a passing glance. Because a lot of people don't read word by word. They tend to look at it, skim it, and if it interests them, then they'll perhaps read more. If it doesn't, then they're going to pass on the message. So remember to make your postcards eye catching and simple. You want to catch your prospects eye and make them take a second look like I said earlier. So they will take time to read your postcard. Now before you begin to design your postcard you want to sit down and decide what you want your postcard to accomplish. A postcard with the right purpose can quickly get your point across. It should only provide the most important information that you want to convey to your potential customers. Okay, it's time for homework. Here's what I want you to do. I want you to grab a notepad or a piece of paper, a pen, and jot these answers to these questions. The first question is, what is the main goal of your campaign? to generate sales, to introduce new products or services, to acquire new clients and customers, to build a brand name or attain more recognition, to strengthen your relationship with your customers. Then the next question is what type of contact information do you want to include on your postcard? Address, phone number, website address, email address. Third, how are you going to target your market? Are you going to target them by interest groups or by 
geographic areas. What do you want your prospects to do after they read your postcard? Call you for more information? Or do you want them to come to your place of business, visit your website, or for them to email you? So you want to make sure that you have a main goal in mind before you begin to write your marketing message. Design your layout and of course get your postcards printed. And that is it for this lesson. Don't forget to grab a pen, a notepad or a piece of paper, write down the main objectives of your postcard campaign and after you do that it will be time to move on to lesson two where we will be able to talk about designing your postcard, choosing a printing company and of course getting your postcards printed. Hello again. If you did your homework from the last lesson, then you should have a fairly clear idea of what you want to accomplish with your postcard marketing campaign. Now, in this particular video lesson, we are going to jump right in and talk about designing your postcard, choosing a printing company, and of course, getting your postcards printed. When it comes to designing your postcard, you have three options. You can design it yourself, using your computer or hire a professional to do it for you or you can choose a printing company that specializes in postcards you see a professional postcard printing company is a great option especially for your first campaign because they will be able to offer you a variety of effective ready to use templates that can help you create custom designs and logos faster and easier than you can do it on your own. This way you won't have to spend extra time learning how to use design software to create your own layout. All you have to do is choose a template and customize it to meet your needs. And this will also make it possible to have your postcards produced, printed, and of course ready to send faster. Now, another benefit of using a professional printing company is that they often offer a service where they will help you target your market and, of course, send out your postcards for you. Now, this can really help take the headache out of sending out your shiny new postcards, especially if you don't have your own extensive mailing list. A good company will work with you on all of your mailing options and distribution. Just be prepared because each additional service will incur additional fees. So when you're looking for the perfect company to hire, you can begin by performing a search online and visiting several different websites. Now there are many companies available that will assist you through the entire process of designing, printing, and sending directly from their website. You will also want to check out some of your local printing companies before you make your final decision because sometimes the advantage of hiring a local company is that you will be able to better interact with them during the process. So keep in mind that you don't need to mass produce your postcards right now. It's best to start by sending out a small group first to test the effectiveness of your design and your message first. A lot of people make the mistake of sending or investing too much money first and sending out a lot of postcards and not testing first. If you do get a good response, then print and send out a larger number of postcards. If you don't get a good response, reevaluate your design, make any necessary changes, then print and send out another group. And you can do things like A, B, split testing by creating a postcard and two postcards, two different postcards, but only changing perhaps one thing in the postcard. And you could tell them to go to a certain website and tell the people on postcard B to go to a different website. That way you can actually test to see whether a certain headline converts better, a certain thing on the postcard, the certain design, layout, color, whatever. 
Now, I know this may sound like a hassle, but if you want to run a highly successful campaign, then it is necessary that this step will end up yielding much better results for your business overall if you do test it out. All right, so for this second lesson, here's your homework assignment. What I want you to do is grab your pen and notepad. Go to your computer and start looking for postcard printing companies that best suit your needs. And remember to look for online companies as well as local businesses. Make a list and compare their available services and prices so that you can effectively narrow down your choices. And that's it for this lesson. In your next lesson, we will be talking about how to boost effectiveness of your postcard marketing campaign. So go do your homework and let's move on to video three. Hi and welcome to the third and final lesson in the introduction to postcard marketing video course. I hope you are learning a lot from this little video course and that you have some great ideas in mind for starting your own successful campaign. If you have been doing your homework, you should already have a good idea of what you want to accomplish with your postcard marketing campaign, plus a list of postcard printing companies that suit your needs. Now, in this particular third lesson, we're going to talk about how to boost the effectiveness of your postcard marketing campaign. We're going to go over some helpful techniques and tips that will show you how to get the most return on your investment. Let's start out by talking about using incentives in your marketing message. Just like any other form of advertising, using incentives will greatly help entice your postcard recipients to take further action. You want to make sure and give them a reason to call, visit, or return your reply and survey cards. And you can achieve this goal by offering them discounts, gifts, or free information if they take the time to respond to your postcard. Offering incentives will go a long way towards increasing your response rate. Now, if you want your recipients to fill out certain information on your postcard and return it to you, it is important that you include a prepaid return postage on the back of your postcard. Keep in mind that your response rate will suffer greatly if you expect them to pay for postage, and it will also take longer for them to take action, which means the chance that they will actually mail the card back to you decreases. So you will also want to be sure and leave plenty of space for your recipients to fill in their names, their addresses, and any other additional information that you require. So believe it or not, many recipients judge postcards based on the quality of paper that they are printed on. So you definitely want to pay particular attention to the kind of paper you choose before printing your postcards. Keep in mind that color matters when it comes to getting noticed. For example, bright colors easily stand out from the rest of the mail. So if using them fits well with your message, then it may be good of a choice for your campaign. Low quality, inferior, or unattractive paper is never a great idea and will most likely result in your postcard getting tossed into the trash without being read. People do judge a book by its cover, unfortunately, but that's the case, so you definitely need to make sure the paper is of good quality. Photo postcards are another good option. They're very good at attracting the immediate attention of your prospect and sometimes hold the extra benefit of being kept and even shared depending on your message. Now, when choosing the paper for your postcard, just use your best judgment and think about what catches your eye when you sort through your mail. And you will also want to pay close attention to the layout of your marketing message. Don't give into the temptation of trying to squeeze too much information on the small space 
that your postcard has to offer. A lot of people, if there's too much to read, a lot of people will just toss it out because to them, time is money and time is valuable. So you want it to be easily read, use your white space so that they feel like, okay, this should be quick to read and should save me time. And remember to keep it simple and straightforward and to the point. You'll get a much better response rate if you do. Most of all, it is important to include a good call to action. You want to make sure that your message on your postcard is clear, especially when it comes to telling your prospect exactly what you want to do. Remember from lesson one, a postcard with the right purpose will get your point across quickly and provide only the most important information that you want to convey to your potential customers. So choose your words carefully and be persuasive. Now, although I have done my best to touch on the basics in this short introduction to postcard marketing, there is a lot for you to learn if you want to run a widely successful campaign. And it's important that you do your research. Seek out help and suggestions from professionals and other people that are already running successful campaigns. I also want you to keep in mind that even though there are many, many methods out there that can be applied to postcard marketing, there is only one way to truly know if they work, and that is trying them out for yourself and testing, of course. Thank you again for joining me for this short course, and I wish you the best of luck in all of your postcard marketing campaigns.